Yes, welcome back to another Star Made Logic tutorial. My name is Bench, and today we're looking at uh, not so much a tutorial as a showcase for my four digit programmable combination lock here in Star Made. I built it for Smuggler's Cove Station as part of the uh, public hangars that'll be there so people can come along, park in there, enter in a combo lock for it. Uh, when they park, and they'll be able to lock that thing up nice and tight so that uh, other people don't come along and try to take their ship out of the actual hangar. And then when they leave, we'll be able to reset, and the next person that comes along can do it. In fact, um, I'll work on some ways and probably do some other feature videos afterwards on how to automate all that system so that people who come along, they fly, they park, they get access to be able to um, set the lock, but then when they undock, it resets itself. So anyone can get access to it for a temporary amount of time. It's 24 by 14 uh, by 7, or by 6, because you wouldn't include this bottom section. This is just as part of um, being able to move the, th the thing around, because it's on a ship. Then you just copy and paste it anywhere you want on your station, on your ship, wherever you want to use it. So we've got set up here, and uh, we'll just talk our way through it. So at the moment, we've got our, uh, we're in toggle program mode. Now, the OR gates on the front are for outputs, and the activation modules are for inputs. At the moment, the toggle program mode is set to ON. Now, it auto sets to ON when there's no combination programmed in. Um, so, if there's no combo in there that people can use to enter to unlock stuff, then this will be lit up. And when that's lit up, it automatically goes into program mode so that you can actually do what you want to do with it. Now, if you hit C on that, you'd be able to uh, see there that it's just linked straight into there. So if you want to disable it, you can just hit V on that, and then it won't automatically go into program mode. But we'll leave that for now. So we've got toggle program mode, and it's on. And then we can see that we need to put a new combination in. Then on the top, we've got these four input outputs. Which sounds like a, a, a bit of a, a, a oxymoron there. They output to show, uh, in program mode, they output to show how uh, what digit we're up to. So if we're up to digit 1, 2, 3, or 4, which ones have we entered in? And when it all fills in, then uh, that light on the this side will go off, and it will toggle from program mode into normal mode, and we won't be able to see anything anymore will be able to enter though our inputs so down here we have our inputs input one two three and four and it's just as a little description there and as we enter in one we'll just do one two three four and you see all four have entered in lights gone off toggle program mode is gone off and these haven't changed now it doesn't matter what these are set to these four purely uh, moving them or changing them triggers the toggles. So here's the toggles in here, the little pulse circuits and the pulse circuits send it through everything else, which is what we want. So we can hook up as many activation modules as we want going straight into these, and every time these change, that'll trigger an input. So we don't need to mess around with additional pulse circuits or anything to try and do it, we just need an activation module there, um, with uh, a faction, public faction permission on it. If you want to use this on a station for public faction or public people, uh, you can do that. And they just hook into these ones. One, two, three, and four. Now, if I've forgotten my combination, I come, can come along here and click this button, which is display current combination. And you'll see when we hit that, the lights above on the outputs will actually show what that combination is. If I hit a trigger reset, you'll see um, that color at the top has changed again, and we can input a new input. So we'll move one, two, one, three, and there, that's all done. And then when we hit this display current combination again, you'll see it'll show that new combination that we have. Now, if it was me, I wouldn't allow people to be able to push this button. I'd keep that purely for people who are in the faction, which would be admins of the station, so that if someone gets stuck, they've forgotten their combination, you as the uh, overlord or the owner of a station is able to trigger that for them and be able to tell them in like a private message what their combination is, or you could simply hit the trigger system reset button as well. 
But at the moment, our light's off. We're not in toggle program mode. So we're in the mode to be able to input our combination in. Now, if we push a button, you'll see there's lights lighting up behind. Um, but that's not part of my combination. Um, you'll see nothing happens. You get no outputs, so it's not like you can work it out through trial and error because you don't know where you're up to, what was the first number, or how far you've gotten. Um, but we'll input our combination here. So it's 1, 2, 1, 3. And you'll see it's unlocked now. Now there's indicators on the actual box itself for people who want to try that. But you'll also see we've got these two outputs here. Locked signal output and unlocked signal output. The locked one will light up when the system is locked, obviously. And the unlocked will light up when everything is unlocked. Now the good thing about this is all the green lights can be hooked up to the unlocked. All the red lights can be hooked up to the locked. But also for Plex Door, what you want is you want those doors to actually be hooked up to the locked signal because you want those doors to be closed, which is triggered by an on, and when they're off, it makes the doors open. So you'd actually trigger it onto or hook it up onto that. Now that it's unlocked, it will just take a button push on any of the inputs to be able to toggle it back. So now it's all off, it's all locked again. So there's no additional buttons needed. Let's toggle that. The other thing we've added in is this instant unlock input. And that can be used in a number of ways. You can have that as an admin option that they can use to instantly unlock an area for a player. Or it might be on the interior of a door if you, say, have a vault and you want to use this as a combo lock to get into your vault. Well, you're already in the vault. You don't want to try and push the buttons to get out again. So you can toggle this and this will trigger the unlock as well. And toggling that again will trigger that. Now, this doesn't matter what sort of input again. It's also running off a pulse. So if I do one, two, one, three, everything. Un okay, I've done it too quick. So that's one of the things is you can't do it too quick. Otherwise, it'll get a little bit confused, which I think is what's happened here. So what we can do is we can toggle that and toggle that. And now we'll input our thing. One, two, one, three. And we've unlocked now. And going over here, I'll switch it blue and you'll see it, it locks again. So it doesn't matter what this is activation module is actually on. It's just a pulse circuit you can see in there. So, well, the other thing we'll look at is if I do a reset, then the other thing that I can do is still unlock the door via the instant unlock input. So if I get stuck and need to do a reset, I'm not stuck inside an area without without the ability to open doors. Um, so there we go, we start inputting, and if you want to reset that, oh, I've hit something to knock me out. There we go, reset there. Now, this is all open, but at the back, you see this open space actually has Plex Door in it. So you can trigger the Plex Door, and you'll see the whole thing fills in. And everything's laid out in a way that you wouldn't be able to see any of the circuits um, that are necessary. I mean, this is just pulse stuff. Um, there's not really anything that you can use to discern. So you, that's the way that we will lock it so that people can't just fly in and you can't decipher from this exactly what the combination is to be able to get in which is fun so that's the uh... that's the four digit programmable combination lock uh... you can download this through the uh... community content on the Starmate site but for now my name is Bench and if you have any other suggestions of things you want to see done with Logic, then uh, feel free to comment. Remember, like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching another StarMade video. We release videos every second day, so don't forget to subscribe.